Lee, congratulations for being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Uh, had a great career, and what individuals influenced that career in the sport of wrestling? Um, my grandfather on my mother's side, uh, Carl Fomos, uh, you know, got me introduced or uh, interested in Schwinga or Swiss wrestling back when mm -hmm. I was 12 or 13 years old. And uh, then from then on, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, Dan Gonzalez, who's also being inducted in the Hall of Fame tonight, and mm -hmm. Dean Sensenba, who's also in the Hall of Fame, and, and uh, and at UCLA, uh, the, 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 my teammates, Dave Hollinger, uh, right. individuals of the uh, so a mm. number of individuals, you know. It influenced you in, in a number of different ways, yes, I'm sir. sure. Uh, Do you have any idols in the, in the sport as you were competing and as you were coaching? Uh, you know, a lot of individuals that I uh, admired, respected, and whatever, as, as one single individual, I can't say that was necessarily mm -hmm. the case, although there's a, any number of them that I uh, what, uh, appreciated their style or their techniques or right. their, uh, their philosophies on the mat. Right, so and I think most people are kind of an eclectic mix of many, <laughs> and I'm sure you're the same way. How did you get started in wrestling? Well, as I said, my grandfather yeah, took me to the Swiss Hall and mm -hmm. uh, got me started with Schwinga, and you know, I did well at it. Uh, you know, won a couple of uh, kids tournaments and I figured mm -hmm. well maybe I'll try some of this American stuff and yeah and, um, and it stuck went, yeah it's <laughs> went from there uh, what do you attribute your success in the sport to um, you do uh, what I was I was always a legitimate athlete um, you know but at a very young age uh, when I was uh, not quite six uh, my father passed away and mm -hmm. I think I had a uh, Oh, a bit of an edge, a psychological thing. I mean, there was always some frustration, probably some venting, probably some stuff that, uh, you know, uh, was directed in a positive fashion through the mm -hmm. sport that uh, probably, uh, you know, what uh, went back to that trauma as, oh, I, as I look back on my life. Yeah, yeah kind of drove you to succeed. I, I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, is there one outstanding memory or outstanding situation uh, through your years in the sport of wrestling that's uh, you can share with us. Um, you know, the, the the two matches that I, when I read the question, that, that you come to mind, and I lost in the uh, semifinals uh, at the Nationals uh, and to the eventual champion, and we won a 12-12 match, and uh, he had over writing time to defeat mm -hmm. me, and, uh, you know, was a, a very solid competitor, but I, I thought that was... Uh, a good match, and then two weeks later, I uh, defeated the 152-pound uh, champion, the weight below, uh, mm -hmm. in the East-West dual meet uh, in a match that was uh, considered to be a highlight match in the sense that I was using two plays and and uh, some other techniques that maybe they hadn't seen in Stillwater, Oklahoma, right. and <laughs> hadn't made <laughs> illegal yet in yeah, in uh, yeah. folk style. So. Yeah, and so this this next question might dovetail into this is there one uh, match that stands out in your mind would that be it or those those two in mm -hmm. all honesty yeah and, and at that time you know it was the end of my senior year and uh, uh, you know it's probably as good a shape as maybe I ever got into with in right. the, the, the the domain of the sports and uh, shortly thereafter the next week or two I placed in both the national freestyle and the national Greco so like those that month there was a, a, a strong month in my oh. career Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, if you could start it all over again, would you do anything differently? Uh -huh. I, you know, up there in the room, I, uh, when I read the question, I said jokingly, well, win more, right? Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think uh, the, the, the course of your career probably um, led me to where I am now, and uh, mm -hmm. anything that maybe would be different than that would maybe be, uh, I don't know if it'd be honestly expressing frustration with wrestling or frustration with where my life is right. now and I don't have any of that so well, I'm not feeling any of that That's currently perfect. other than my golf game but <laughs> it'll come around. <laughs> yeah, wrestling and golf, that extra effort doesn't it's, quite get it there. Does it, it? It's a different, uh, different athletic skills, yes. It definitely does. Uh, out of all the things that you've learned in wrestling, what has oh. contributed most to your life? Um, oh, the things I've learned. Um, you know that Hard work will result in a positive outcome, mm -hmm. and I and I think that's exhibited. And I always felt that it was exhibited in wrestling uh, as well as most activities in life. That mm -hmm. if you work hard at it, that uh, 
you'll derive some success from it. Yeah, that's a great lesson to learn and wrestling is a good sport for it because if you apply yourself you're going to benefit for sure. It, you know and it, I, I always think of wrestling as being uh, maybe that being more true than a lot of other activities. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, what would you like people to remember about Lee Ellers? Mm -hmm. um, that maybe uh, what uh, if I had an edge, uh, partially because of the death of my father, if I exhibited that, or if I uh, kind of uh, vented that, that uh, as time went on, that uh, I have, uh, I have uh, mellowed and I have changed, and uh, I, I, whether I have changed or not, I've tried to become a nicer guy. Right. So uh, maybe that. Okay, that's terrific. Well, once again, uh, congratulations on being inducted in the. California Wrestling Hall of Fame, and thank you for taking your time to share with us. Well, thank you very much as well.